It has been an interesting and exciting week, hasn't it? And I suspect it'll continue to be interesting and exciting for weeks to come. Please continue to pray for our country. I, I know you have been. Uh, let's continue to seek the Lord's favor in these difficult times. Well, let's get back to the word. A spouse is a gift from the Lord. A believing spouse is a double blessing from the Lord. But a marriage, even a Christian marriage, is a union of two individuals still scarred by sin. There is no such thing as a perfect marriage. I'm the only one who has been privileged to marry a perfect angel. So when two fallen, albeit redeemed, individuals enter into this sacred union, there are bound to be conflicts and problems. Paul touches on this fact in 1 Corinthians chapter 7, and he mentions how to handle a few of those scenarios. But of course, he can't deal with every possible situation. So once again, we want to look for the underlying principle, the foundational principles that we can then apply to whatever situation we have in mind, whether it be a marriage or a divorce or a remarriage or a marriage to an unbeliever and so on. So as we look at the underlying principle, we can probably start with verse 7. Each man has his own gift from God, as we've already mentioned. One in this manner and another in that. And verse 15, God has called us to peace. And verse 32, I want you to be free from concern. Undergirding them all is verse 35. Listen. This I say for your own benefit, not to put a restraint upon you, but to promote what is appropriate and to secure undistracted devotion to the Lord. Whether we be single or happily married or in a troubled marriage or divorced or widowed or whatever, let us seek to live in undistracted devotion to the Lord. That's the key. May God direct you this day and in weeks to come. God bless.